Question 1. I engage with my foot above the brake. Yes. A. No. B. If the traffic lights did not work, I would engage at low speed, placing my foot above the brake in order to be ready to stop on the spot. Indeed, the car stopped next to it can hide a pedestrian crossing and visibility on the right street is low. But, as the light is red, I have to stop. Question 2. At 2,000 meters, I will be able to Join the A31 highway? Yes. A. No. B. Leave the highway where I drive. Yes. C. No. D. This sign does not announce a bifurcation, but an exit. At 2,000 meters, I will be able to leave the highway where I am driving, taking exit number 31. I will not join another highway but a road. A motorway bifurcation would be announced by a blue-colored sign. Question 3. I pass without slowing down. A. I slow down and I pass. B. I'm stopping. C. In all cases where the insufficient free width of the roadway its profile or its condition does not allow easy and safe crossing, users must reduce their speed. And, if necessary, stop or park to facilitate the passage of a vehicle of general interest using audible and light warning devices. In this situation, the police vehicle has its beacons, that dot is its light, on. You must therefore stop without taking into account the sign giving you priority. Question 4. In a one-way street, getting out of the vehicle is more dangerous if I am parked. Tilde on the right side. A. Or. On the left side. B. The driver's side is on the left side I will come down from the pavement side if I parked in my left side. But if I parked on the right side then I will come down from roadside and coming down from the vehicle at this side is very dangerous. In the order way parking on the left side is very dangerous to move out because it has a reduced visibility. Question 5. I can initiate the overtaking. Of the truck. Yes. A. No. B. Of the white car. Yes. C. No. D. The round signal does not prevent me from overtaking since it only concerns heavy goods vehicles. The temporary yellow sign announces the removal of the left lane at 200 meters. The middle lane remains usable and the vehicle I see in the rearview mirror is far enough for me to deport without hindering it. So I can take the middle lane to overtake the truck. On the other hand, I must not overtake the white car because, at 200 meters, I would be blocked by the removal of the left lane. Question 6. The signage announces an intersection. Yes. A. No. B. A turn. Yes. C. No. D. These beacons, called delineators, delimit the edges of the roadway. The drawdown arrows announce a continuous line. No signage here announces a turn. Here, an intersection is announced. Not by the bottom sign, which indicates the priority of the road, but by those at the top that confirm two directions. One, to go straight, towards Champagne and the other, to turn left, towards Arbois. Question 7. The first speed is the one that offers more power at low speed. A. More fuel savings at sustained speed. B.
The first speed is the one that offers the most power at low speeds. But, the fifth allows you to drive faster, with a lower speed. It is therefore the fifth gear, or the highest gear ratio, that allows the most fuel savings, at sustained speed. Question 8. A child. Sees less well than an adult on the sides. A. Takes two seconds to see that a vehicle is driving. B. Has the same estimate of distances and speeds as an adult. C. While the visual field of an adult reaches or exceeds 180 degrees, that of an 8-year-old child is only 70 degrees. He therefore sees much less well than an adult on the sides. It takes him not 2, but 4 seconds to see that a vehicle is moving. For an adult, only 1 quarter of a second is needed, or 16 times less time. A child is very far from having the same ability to estimate distances and speeds as an adult. He cannot estimate the approach time of a vehicle. He can only see one thing at a time, hear only one noise at a time. When he plays, he therefore forgets everything around him and risks opening up from one moment to the next on the road by totally ignoring the danger. Question 9. I'm slowing down to let the white car pass. A. I'm passing her by the right. B. The driver of the white car signaled his intention to fall back to the right. In this situation, passing it by the right is prohibited and particularly dangerous. So I have to slow down to facilitate the lane change of the white car, although it is not a priority. Question 10. This broken down vehicle is correctly placed. Yes. A. No. B. The driver of this broken down vehicle thought of installing a warning triangle. But, it is not sufficiently placed because it should also have kept the hazard lights on. Mm.